friends welcome back to my channel so um i just recorded a video and i was about to go inside but then i was like this is the perfect time to record another pregnancy update so that's what i'm gonna do and this one is gonna be a lot shorter so i am currently i honestly have not been keeping track this pregnancy so when I want to know how far along I am, I literally have to go look it up. <laughs> all I know is that I'm due sometime the ending of June. That's all I know. But today is the 16th of April. So I am currently 30 weeks. Or to be exact, I am 6 months and 25 days. Which means I'm almost... Whew, I am almost 7 months. Well, I'm almost in my 7th month. Time is flying and I have so much to do, but it's okay. What is meant to be will be, I'll get everything that I need to get done. I gotta keep reminding myself that or else I will stress myself out. But yes, I am currently 30 weeks. New information. So I'll say about two weeks ago or so, I started feeling some lower abdomen pressure. Um, and yeah, I was concerned, but it wasn't pressure in terms that I felt like something was wrong. It was just pressure like the baby is getting really low, which I'm still early enough for that not to be happening. So um, I know why, because one, I was on my feet a lot, walking up and down. I can't keep my ass still with this pregnancy. I don't know why, but I can. Also, because of everything that I've gone through with this pregnancy and being that is such it's, it's been a back-to-back -back pregnancy like my youngest is one even though you know society tells you you have six weeks after you give birth to heal and all of that then you go for a six week checkup just to make sure your uterus shrunk back into place and your cervix is closed and all of like your body still takes one to two years to fully heal after giving birth like that's how serious it is and my body did not get that opportunity you know and um, not only did my body not get that opportunity to fully heal I was only six months postpartum when the physical abuse started and I was being hit in my stomach and stuff so I can't even believe I'm saying that on camera but um yes I was only six months postpartum and I know that affected my womb because for the first time after that I had a very hard menstrual cycle. I just know that my 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 womb health wasn't the best, you know, before. Anyways, so the beginning of this pregnancy, given all of everything that I went through, I know that adds to the stress on my uterus and all of that. Now it's supporting a whole life in there, a growing baby and my muscles and ligaments and all of that aren't as strong as it should be so i know why my belly is dropping so early um actually my midwife ran into me at the farmer's market and she only looked at me and she saw she saw she was like wow your belly is dropping your belly looks low and she recommended that i get a pregnancy support belt so i did i ordered one and i actually got it the other day I want to show it to you all, but I have on a dress, so I brought some pants. Let me put on these pants, and then I'm going to show you. So this is the pregnancy support belt, and I got it from Amazon, and I'll link it below in case anyone else is interested, but this is how it comes. So, you put this part on first, and for some people this is enough, but because, because I was having a lot of lower back pain as well, because of course if your core isn't strong, you're going to feel it in your back. So, I use both pieces. There's actually a third piece that goes like around here but i don't like it it's just to me it's not necessary so i don't use that piece but this helps to hold up some of the weight 
and it actually doesn't feel tight or uncomfortable at all so when I'm home walking around or I have the boys or um, I'm doing any housework or even when I start making my products this is what I'm gonna be wearing just to help hold up some of the weight and support my back and I'm also trying to be conscious about my posture when I'm sitting making sure I'm up straight and I'm not like hunched over so um, yeah that is one uh, I guess difficulty I was experiencing in the past few weeks was a lot of lower pressure and back aches so um, I, my back still hurts it does I get lower back pain all the time but um, you wearing this actually helps when I'm up and about another thing I noticed is that my digestion is slowing down which is normal because as the baby grows all the organs and stuff inside your belly just start to smush to the side <laughs> so naturally your digestive system slows down because it takes longer for it to go through your go through the digestive system so um, I know I should eat smaller meals like five six small meals a day but I don't I honestly don't like if you're pregnant please comment below let me know if you've ever been able to eat five to six small meals throughout the day because I struggle with that like when I get hungry I ate I eat a plate of food and then I sit my ass down somewhere uncomfortable <laughs> And I know I shouldn't, but like, it's really hard to say I'm about to be eaten five times a day. I really struggle with that. But um, lately, what I've been eating a lot of is fruits, one. Every rise, I have my fruits. And then I may have a shake. One shake that I've finally been able to tolerate with this pregnancy because I haven't been able to tolerate any of the other shakes that I've been making or that I'm used to having. But one shake that I created that I've been loving right now is sea moss, dates, walnuts, and a little tahini and spring water. Blend that up in the Vitamix and I will drink that down. And I literally have a bottle of that almost every day. I'll say almost every day. Most days I have it. So that's what I've been drinking. And you know the sea moss is really good. All the minerals and stuff that it's full of. So I know I'm getting in good nutrients for myself and the baby with that one shake um, not only the sea moss the dates because the dates is great for pregnancy and um, walnuts tons of nutrients vitamins and it's actually brain food so it's an actual pretty decent shake for um, to drink while you're pregnant and then I've been drinking my nettle dandelion um, alfalfa and sometimes I add hibiscus just for the flavor. So I drink those four teas and I eat a lot of salads, like a lot. And I think my cravings for salads also comes from the fact that I am not drinking enough water. I'm being honest, I do not drink enough water. I could be drinking way more water than I am, but it's just so hard. It's so much going on in here. Like. I try I really try and the water I've been drinking lately is Fiji and um, yeah I just try I try to drink as much water as possible but I do it, it I do compensate for that through all the fruits that I eat the shake being that I use water and not milk and also through the salads cucumbers all of those are things that fill with a lot of water so I do get water in different ways, not just through drinking regular water. And I've been loving honeydew melon, so I eat a lot of that. <laughs> um, my berries, I love blackberries right now. Blackberries, raspberries, blueberries. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been craving more sweets than anything else still. I actually recorded a what I eat in a day video so that should be up before this actually so maybe you've already watched it but if you haven't go and watch it i don't know i've just i've honestly just been taking it one day at a time with this pregnancy i'm not rushing anything and i'm not sick and stuff so you know i'm just trying to keep it easy take i'm just trying to take it as easy as possible 
physically because I know my body is not in the shape that it should have been in before I got pregnant. So I'm just trying to take it easy so that no preterm labor or none of that stuff happens because that is not what we need right now at all. So in terms of moving around too much and stuff, I try to keep that to a minimum right now just because I know the weight that my body is carrying and I'm just trying to be gentle and patient with myself. I go to the beach as often as I can and I do little exercises in the water just because I know that's easier on my body than actually doing exercises like I would normally do outside the water. So uh, that's, that's the way I'm getting in like more of my physical activity is when I go to the beach. Yoga, I have not been doing yoga. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I do hope to get back into yoga after I have the baby. But I know it's not going to happen the way I want to right now. Maybe after this season of me doing all of this business and product stuff, I'm going to start doing more moves that will help prepare my body for, for birth. But um, in terms of like how I used to do yoga, I'm going to get there. I'm coming. Trust me. All of that is part of Gem's holistic lifestyle and womb wellness. It's, it's, it's going to come together. Anyways, that's not about this pregnancy, so we'll leave that to the side. That's about it for this update. You know, I'm wearing my pregnancy support belt as often as I need to. I'm trying to get rest. I forgot how draining the third trimester is, okay? I can't hang. At night, I'm out. <laughs> when before I was staying up all 12, 1, 2 o'clock, I can't do it anymore. I can't. I'm falling asleep with my son. It's just, it's draining. I forgot how it feels to be in the third trimester. So I'm just letting it, whatever I don't get done in a day, I don't get done. Tomorrow's another day. Keep it moving. Thankfully, I have very supportive parents and sisters who try their best to help me in any way they can because it's not easy taking care of little ones while you're pregnant. I know there's women out there that do it all the time, but they shouldn't have to, first of all. And second of all, I know as a mother, you do what you have to do, but it doesn't make it easy. It doesn't mean it's easy, and it doesn't mean that that would be their first choice. You know, I'm pretty sure if you ask any of those mothers if they would prefer to have some more hands-on help, they would say yes, because it's hard. While pregnant, taking care of toddlers, <sighs> come on. So thankfully in my situation, I have family there to support me, especially being that my body already been through so much intense physical um, situations, <laughs> to say the least. So um, I'm just taking it easy right now. And that's about it for this pregnancy update. It's It's been great. Um, overall, I cannot complain. I am blessed. I am alive. I am happy. So I cannot complain about much right now. And I noticed that I noticed that my energy has shifted a lot, especially right now. And there's a lot of people that I have disconnected from in terms of our energy sinking or me even wanting to be around them for long periods of time. And uh, my therapist said that's okay. So that's okay. She said, always give yourself the space that you need. So that's what I'm doing. And family or not, if I can't tolerate you in my space right now, I'm just removing myself because that's all part of me taking care of me and this pregnancy. I have enough other things to think about and worry about and I don't need to be around anyone that is portraying anything negative or complaining or just draining my energy in any way. Sometimes I'm too honest when it comes to stuff like that so I think it's best that sometimes I just keep my distance because not everyone can handle my honesty even if it's coming out of love. I think one thing this pregnancy has taught me so far is that I am not for everybody and I'm okay with that. I wasn't okay with it before and I used to want to be that people pleaser 
fit in with everybody type of person, but I'm okay with that. Like, I am not for everybody, and everybody is not for me. And I am so fine with that, especially right now. Anyways, that is it for this video. In a nutshell, my pregnancy is still going well. I'm healthy, baby is healthy. The baby is moving a lot, like a lot. Like I thought my I thought my sons were, were heavy movers. This child be kicking me up in my sleep. Early in the rise, this baby is different. <laughs> this baby is so different, but I love it. Like I love it, I really do. I'm really excited to, to meet this being here because he or she is truly something special. Anyways, to all of my carbonated, melanated women, protect your womb by any means necessary and to everybody watching, protect your peace by any means necessary. I wish you all love, life, and prosperity. I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Oh, no, we